Hello everyone. I'm sorry for my absence. I'm really bad at getting uh, YouTube videos up. But today I'm out here in the woods uh, in the beautiful snow. And I'm going to be shooting a video on 18th century winter moccasins. And basically how I made mine and how winter moccasins should be made uh, in order to keep your feet warm in the winter time. So stick with me and we'll get right into it. Alright, so let me first just give you a quick view of the moccasins when they're on my feet. So these moccasins are Eastern Woodland Center Sea moccasins and uh, so they're not pucker toe moccasins, they're a little bit different where uh, the difference is that you don't drop the toe on these um, but they're, uh, they are Eastern Woodland Center Sea moccasins and they're made of two materials obviously uh, the buckskin making up the moccasin and I have wool flaps sewn on and there's two straps attached here on the moccasin that uh, wrap up around my leg and around these flaps to hold them in place over my leggings. And I like to tuck my leggings inside the flaps because uh, that keeps any snow from getting in there. Whereas if you put your leggings over the flaps, you might get some snow uh, coming up in your leggings. So I tuck them in the, the flap, the flaps there, and uh, that works very well. So that's the view of the moccasins when they're on my feet. Just standard Eastern Woodland Center Sea moccasin with uh, wool flaps. And then we'll get into uh, what actually makes them uh, warm. Okay, so I just took this moccasin off. And as you see, just like I was just talking about, here's the Center Sea moccasin and my wool flaps that are sewn on to the top. And then the two straps that are connected here at the front of the, the flaps to tie them up. And here's the big, the major thing that you have to think about when making winter moccasin is moisture. And you have to get as much material between your foot and the ground as possible. So obviously you have one layer of buckskin here, the, the bottom of your moccasin. So you can either sew, sew another sole onto the outside of the moccasin, which I'll probably end up doing as well or you can do a lot of inserts in your moccasin. And if I can get my insert out, I could, I could show you that I have a leather sole that goes and lays flat in the bottom of the moccasin, as well as four layers of wool. So I have a thick sole inserted inside the moccasin. So I have two layers of buckskin and four layers of wool between me and the ground, plus wool socks. Now, I have cotton stockings on as well. I do not have wool stockings. I should get some, but I have some cotton stockings that I wear during the summertime generally, and I have that under my leggings, and those go down on my, uh, my foot as well. So that uh, is an extra layer of protection as well, even though cotton is not as good as wool. But then I have wool uh, socks. I'll generally wear one or two pairs of wool socks in there. So I'll have anywhere between five or six layers of wool and two layers, two to three layers of buckskin between me and the ground. And that's a big thing is keep as much material between your foot and the ground as possible because when the moccasin starts to get wet, if you're out for a long time, uh, you know, it has to, the water has to seep through all those layers to get to your foot. And really, moccasins can stay warm for a very long time. It's just when they get wet that it's, it goes bad for you. So moccasins can be very warm and comfortable, but you just have to be very careful about them getting wet. Because if they get wet, uh, then you're done. Because then your feet will freeze. So, yeah. Uh, the, another big thing is to always grease your moccasins. Um, moccasin grease is important to carry. I think at all times during the summer and winter because uh, that is a huge uh, layer of protection right there is the grease. Grease your moccasins and it will shed off that moisture uh, so that that way the snow and all the moisture has to seep through all those layers and all those layers being greased. So you just really maximize your chances of not you know getting wet. So that's just really it right there. It's, it's pretty straightforward. As many uh, layers as you possibly can uh, between you and the ground and grease. And that's uh, my winter moccasin right there.